Okay, so we are going to learn how to um, use Excel to perform an ANOVA test. To do this, we have to look in our ribbon and search for data, the data tab. And when we search for the data tab, we have to make sure that we have the data analysis feature on this tab. Now, if it's not listed there, what I would recommend is you right click um, on the ribbon and um, see. add group, select add group, and then you should be able to add your data analysis to this uh, feature here. Um, once you have access to data analysis, um, then what you do is you, let's copy over some information. So we'll look at the following example. Um, it's this example here comparing the three diets. So we will copy this over onto Excel. Let's create some space. You just click in between the columns to create space. So we have our data values. So now what we do is we click on data analysis and we have to ensure that we select ANOVA single factor. You press OK. Um, so our input range, we're going to select, we want to make sure we select all the columns that contain our data values. Our alpha, type in uh, alpha 0 0.05. I would go ahead and select labels in the first row, that's just going to label our information. Output, where do you want the output of the block of information to come from? I would just go ahead, what I would do is let's select a cell either to the right or below our data values. Let's select it there, so we're that's our cell. And um, we just, and if you wanted to, you could create a whole new sheet or a whole new workbook uh, to present the data. But anyways, let's go ahead and select OK. So our information is generated. Now in this upper table, that's a summary of our data. So for each of our categories, the sample size, the sum of the data values, the averages, the means, and the variance, variances are automatically computed. Now we want to focus on the second table, because on the second table, that's where we have our key values. And uh, we will focus on MS, so let me highlight MS. So that's going to be, uh, that's our between group and within group variance. So if we go back, to this worksheet where I've done the work manually, uh, we have the between group variance is 50.61, the within group variance is 6.53. So you can see Excel just computes that for us. And then it also computes our test point. So that's our test point. So remember, MSF is the test point. Uh, so if you are uh, just going back to double check, we can see that the test point, here's our test point, it's the between group variance over the within group variance, 7.75. It also provides us with the critical value. So the critical value which we obtained from uh, the table is 3.98. Well, here's the critical value. 3.98, and if you, it also supplies us with the p-value, but um, that's only if you're using the p-value. But we can just see that our test point is greater than the critical value, so that would tell us to reject H naught. So that's how we would apply the F test to um, anal one-way analysis variation using Excel. Now, I just want to go back, just if you wanted to, there's other ways. So let's say you wanted to add that, that data analysis, you can just 
what I just did is I went to File Options, look under Add-ins, um, and then you just want to make sure that you select your Analysis Tool Pack, you hit OK, and then you should be able to add your data analysis there. It should give you options to do that. Just just in case it's not listed. If you have an older version of Excel, my recommendation is go to YouTube and search out videos that will show you how to add data analysis to your um, ribbon, your data ribbon. Okay, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video.